Hey guys, James with Esprit Model Jetty USA uh, getting together with you today to talk about data analyzer function on the radio, how to make sure that you're logging the events you want to and how to view those when you're done. Um, I've already got a model set up in the radio so that we've got some logs to look at. A couple of things you want to make sure of that are critical in your radio. Make sure that you have your system configuration completed. Uh, Primarily, the two things you want to look at, make sure the date is accurate and your timestamp is accurate. This is going to help you when you go back to view the logs you've created. It's going to be critical to the operation. So we're going to go ahead and jump back out of that. Another thing you want to check on is in the main screen of the radio under options, you want to make sure your telemetry is on. Uh, there is a setting here where, rec where receiver on log off. You want to make sure it's turned to on. So go ahead and escape from that. A um, couple of things you can do. You can set your logging to start and stop via the function 4 button on the front of the radio or have it set to auto log. Uh, to do that, it's menu, advanced properties, other model options, and start logging switch. In this situation, or in this application, we've actually created it and set it up to the logging starts when I turn throttle hold off on the helicopter to lift off or spool up. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and show you where to find your data once you've had your flight and finished your flight. Uh, from the main screen, if you hit the clear button, CLR or function 5, uh, it'll change to a graph icon. If you click that, it'll bring you directly into the data analyzer and allow you to access those log files. Uh, that's one way to find it. The other is under menu, applications, and data analyzer. Once we're into data, data analyzer, uh, you'll see that your highlight bar is on your log file. If you click that, you'll get your log file menu. Uh, so these are the log files that are loaded in the radio. Uh, we've updated the date so that we're able to go straight to the file we want, which is a single file I created earlier for, for our viewing. Click on that file, and down at the bottom under Select Variable, there are three options or three spaces where you can add variables. Uh, I have receiver quality, revolutions or RPM, and temperature. Uh, but if you wanted to view anything that you've selected for logging in your timers and sensors menu, uh, will appear there and you'll be able to view those things. We're going to go ahead and stick with what we have. Uh, once you're ready to view, you click the graph button or function 4, and it'll bring up your display graph. And you can simply scroll from left to right and view those parameters for every 10 seconds of flight. Uh, if you want to look at the other parameters, you'll see a 1, 2, 3 under function 5 or over, over top of function 5. If you click that, it'll change between those three options that you selected. So go ahead and look at the RPM. Uh, you'll notice that we're running a single pack machine, uh, running about 1200 RPM. You'll be able to see any little spikes like here where we hit throttle hold for a test started to spool up, hit hold again, and then spooled it all the way up. Uh, again, you'll see another small dip where we momentarily hit hold and spooled it back up again. If you want to look at the graph from a little different view, you can hit the, uh, the zoom out button, so it'll tighten up the graph. Zoom in, of course, will get into tighter sections of the graph. And then, of course, that works throughout all of your different uh, parameters. Now, once you've used, viewed these, you can always Go back and change to any of the other uh, selections that you want to view. So we'll go ahead and click Capacity, add that as my number one. Go back into the graph, and here you can view the capacity over the 90 seconds that we uh, registered that quick flight, that quick hop. Uh, well, that's uh, Data Analyzer. If you have any questions, like always, reach out to us at uh, sales at Esprit Model or sales at jettyusa.com. This is James, and have a great day.